Um, welcome to the show. It's great to be here tonight as always. I hope um, everybody's had a great day, have had a great week so far. Um, it's always nice when it's uh, tomorrow is Friday, getting ready for the weekend. Um, so today I was thinking about um, what I'm going to talk about on the show tonight, like what's been going on. I've been doing a lot of readings um, lately. Um, so usually we, when I do a lot of readings in a row, it's like you know, there's always a theme. And it really, the theme is, is um, I think, people feeling a little bit stuck in the month of May. And if you listen to me regularly or you, you follow me on Facebook, you know that I really had felt that May was going to be like a turnaround month for us, that we we're really going to start finally starting to see things happening because, you know, it's been pretty, pretty quiet um, from January until May. And so I've been really thinking about that, doing some meditation on that and saying to the spirits, okay, seriously, like, what's going on, guys? Like, you know, what's happening? And, you know, I still get this feeling that something good is going to happen for us, right? Like, still have this feeling that changes are coming in. So I really feel that, I know it's late in May, but I really feel that we're looking at probably the next full moon, maybe right before that, or just certainly after that full moon, which is next week on the 23rd. That you're going to have start at least having some hope you're going to start seeing a few things change so what can you do between now and then positive thoughts right positive thoughts about your career positive thoughts about your relationships positive thoughts about your finances just keep thinking positive having gratitude for the universe and all the wonderful things that you do have in your life and um i thought hey let's pull a few cards and let's just see like what does the universe have to give us for may I don't know what they're going to tell me because I haven't pulled cards for this, but what do they want us to know for the next, uh, to get through the next, uh, what is it, two weeks, week and a half? Um, oh, look at that. So the first card we pull is the solar plexus chakra card. So this is all about our self-esteem. The number three is, in this card is um, the seeds have been planted, which is what we know because we've been planting those seeds to the universe for like a lot of months now. So they're growing. They, they know what we want. They know we're growing. And they're saying, okay, like, don't lose hope, right? Don't um, don't leave your self-esteem over this. Um, the next card is the shadow card. So there is um, light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. I think this is really a great card um, that, they, that they gave us tonight because it is a number nine card, which is about completion. So I think on that card, you would see, like, a person in the darkness and then a person in the light. And that's where we've been feeling. We've been feeling in the dark, but they're just reassuring us that, Good things are coming. And they are because we, here we have choose wisely. So the next card is the number seven, which would be the seven of cups if I was using a traditional tarot. And um, on this card, there's a whole bunch of hands and there's some birds. And it's just really just clarifying all the things that I did say was going to happen in May. That things are going to come in. Choices, opportunities are going to come in. And it's going to be up to you to make the choices. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Because it's going to be great. Partnership and alliances is the card that can, comes next, which is another number three. So maybe you're going to meet some new friends. Maybe you're going to maybe you're going to start dating a new person. Maybe you're going to meet a business partner. Really, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for, you're going to start seeing little bits of things coming through. Maybe you're going to get like a message or a phone call, but things are going to be happening. I promise you. Um, so. And yeah, the last card that I was going to pull is the spiritual strength card, the number nine. So yet again, another card of completion. And the spiritual strength card is just coming here to reinforce everything they've said. The universe knows what's happening. They're taking care of us. They love us. So stick with those positive thoughts, okay? Even though I know it's hard and I know it can be frustrating and you can kind of feel a little bit down and you think like, Good things are never going to happen, and all the psychics are lying to me, <laughs> and we're really not. It's just there's a lot. There just always seems to be delays. But let's go, let's hope. Let's send all the positive thoughts to the universe that we are going to have good things for the, uh, coming in in May. All right. So now we have Zana Zana in Sacramento, California. Hello. Oh, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. What can I do for you this evening? Um, so I was just wondering, I am starting a clinicals for, um, I just finished DNA classes online and I'm starting clinicals in June. I was just wondering how is that going to go? Okay, right on. How have they gone so far? Thank you. How have they gone so far? Okay, pretty good. 
Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Well, just by, you know, chatting with you already, I'm feeling like, I think you're going to do good. I feel good energy from you. Well, let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> what's going to happen for you? Yeah, so I said I shouldn't worry. Everything's going to go smooth. Of course. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. More than welcome. Okay, beautiful. All right, so the first card I have for you is really interesting because it's the Love Begins card, um, which is number one, which is all about new opportunities. So this, and this is exactly what this is for you, right? You're gonna write the exam, it's gonna bring you in new, a new opportunity. And I really feel it's gonna yeah. bring into um, what you really love to do, right? You can't see this card, but this card is, is it's such a beautiful card. It is, it has like a rainbow, which is always the good after the bad. And it has a cup that's just overflowing um, with abundance and, you know, super positive card for you. So right from go, we start off really good. So the, in your obstacle or challenge, obstacle or challenges, you do have the wisdom card, which is, which is interesting because it's not, it's not really an obstacle, right? For, for what I'm, from what I'm sensing. It's more of like, this is your challenge is, is that you just got to make sure you study what you need to study for this exam. Okay. Okay. Don't take for granted that, you know, what, what you think, you know what I mean? That, you know, everything going in or skip parts or whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, yes, yes. there's things that you really do know. Okay. Don't focus on that, but focus on the things that you, you really feel that you need to get covered. Okay. okay. That's what I need. That's what we need you to do. Um, so when it comes to guidance from the universe, um, they're saying, basically saying to me, you know, you've had some conflict and defeat in the past, right? In your life. Yes. That's what I'm feeling. Yes. And in the picture on this card is a man that's like getting up and walking away. And what the, what the universe is saying to you is, is that you know, you've been through hard, you've done this before, you've had challenges in your life and you've gotten up and you've brushed yourself off and you kept going. And this card is just reinforcing that for you. Like, they're like, you're, 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 of course you're worried and you're scared, but if you dig deep, you will remember the times of the things you've gotten, gone through in the past and how well you've done. And you're going to do just as well this time. Okay. Okay. So what they want you to focus on is is harmony is the harmony card which is um number six which is all about like you know union and love and happiness and 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 like a partnership and you know all the good things right because good things are going to happen so when you go into this exam go in like feeling like i can do it i feel confident the universe is supporting me um i'm gonna you know i know this i know this stuff and i'm and i'm gonna do great okay so positive thoughts okay. and your outcome for when I can tell for this is triumph. So you have the triumph card, the number seven, so which is all about success. Um, and you're like moving forward. You're like on your horse and you're got your flag and you're moving forward and no, nobody's going to stop you. So um, overall, it's just remember what I said about just focusing on those few things that you need to focus on, make sure you go in, right? Um, yes. Don't skip over anything, so, right? Um, and when you're feeling like kind of down, you're kind of starting to feel a little bit defeated, remember, no, no, I can do this. I've done this, done this before, I can do this again. Um, and you're gonna do great. You are really, really gonna do great. Oh my so God, when, thank you so much. You're welcome. When's it, when's it happening? Uh, June 22nd. Oh wow! Okay, so you got you got some time. You got some time to get all the material covered, right? Yes. <laughs> so you know, and I just pulled another card for you because I just wanted to, you know, just to clarify. So the the next card I have for you is triumph and success, right? So you can't yeah. get any better than that. Um, except that oh the next one is destiny, which is all about, which is like the wheel of fortune in the old tarot. So it would be like good luck, good karma. And it's just reinforcing that you're definitely on, on the right path. And this is going to bring you my last card I pulled for you is new beginnings. And this is going to bring you like new beginnings, you know, a new start. It's going to be awesome. Are you excited? Oh, 
I am so excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> yeah, right on. So, you know, you can ask the universe to help you with those nerves, right? Take that away. Yeah. Just make sure that they get, you say, just take the nervousness away and give me the knowledge that I need and the strength I need to get through, um, through these exams. So, you know, and what you have to do is um, make sure you get enough sleep and make sure you eat well and, you know, get outside for walks and move your body and do all the things that you need to do to stay healthy while, before you write the exams, like while you're studying and while the exams are happening, okay? Because you don't want to burn yourself out. Oh, this is such amazing news. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. I don't know how much more time we have. I don't think we have too much more time. So, um, yeah, so that's great. It was so great chatting with you. Um, do you have anything you else you want to add? I do. May I ask? Um, I'm in a relationship that I've, I've known this person for a very long time. Um, it's been up and down lately, kind of like distance between us. Okay. So I don't, I don't even know what to ask, but is things going to okay. work out or are we just going to end up going our separate ways? All right. I'll just, I'll see. So do you want to know how this person feels about you? Yeah, that would be wonderful. Okay. Yeah. All right. I only have two minutes, but I can do this pretty quickly. So. Okay. Um, All right. So, um, so you in this, you are sort of like a fulfillment of wishes for him, right? Right. For this person. Uh -huh. Right. Um, yeah. Or maybe that's what he was for you when he came in for you. Um, there is the, like, there's definitely like the two of you wanted each other. I have the sacral shock repaired next. Um, and your relationship does have a firm foundation. You have been around for a while, so together for a while. So you have built um, a good foundation there. But there is definitely something not quite right because I do have the solar plexus chakra. So there's a little bit of a self-esteem thing happening with him, right? Um, and it may be, may be that he's feeling like a little bit, you know, out of sorts because you're taking these courses and moving on, you know, to bigger things, better things. Um, I kind of feel that too. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. But overall, I see, I really do see that your your relationship is going to be okay. You're going to get through it. But there is the lesson here is that there is obstacles and challenges, um, and I think you will get through them. Um, it may be a little rocky for a little bit, but I think that uh -huh. overall, I mean, that's what happens with relationships, right? They're not they're not perfect. They have ups and downs. But they think. Um, I think there's a good chance that you guys will be able to work it out if that's what you're meant to do. Yeah, because kind of we've been uh, around each other for 20 years, so I kind of feel like I don't know. <laughs> well, and that and that's where I know, and that's where I'm getting like I'm not getting a definite oh for sure, but what I am getting is, is um, you're going to see in the future what how you change. If you find that you change too much, and he doesn't catch up with you, then you will probably move on.